hey guys welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be like a get ready with me hair edition so i do get a lot of questions of like to show the actual process of me like putting my wig on from start to finish so this is going to be a get ready with me hair edition featuring um my kinky straight hair from hj weave beauty um i did a video on this hair about a month ago and I did a video with the hair curled and a lot of you wanted to see what the hair looked like straightened. So this time we'll be straightening this hair. It is freshly washed and also I added a lace closure to this because I just didn't feel like blending my hair. So I ended up finding this lace closure that I already had and... I've had this closure for a good year and I haven't used it so I decided to pair it up with this kinky straight hair because this closure is a kinky straight texture. It is just a tad bit lighter than my hair and it's a little coarser but I think once I straighten it I should be able to get it to blend well because as you can see my hair looks a mess. So. I don't braid my hair underneath my wigs normally because I'm not that good of a braider. So, you know, I just skip the braiding. But if you want to protect your hair, you know, if you want to add a little extra protection, I would definitely suggest you braid your hair. But all I'm going to do is pull my hair back and put it in a low, low ponytail. And my wig is snug enough that it doesn't, um, that it kind of flattens my ponytail so I don't have like a weird lump in it or anything. So with the closure, I did bleach the knots and then I just added a little bit of um, powder to the part so it'll look a little bit more natural. So we're just going to put this on. Make sure I line up my part with the part that I did in my hair but I just put it on and make sure my ponytail is all tucked in and then of course you know you just move it around this is what it looks like exactly on my hairline with no hair out but you guys know I have a low hairline so I have to leave hair out so I'm just going to take my long tailed comb and just find my part so yeah the wig is right here it's a little little bit behind my hairline so that's how I'm gonna keep it so as you can see this like there's my hairline sticking out of the wig which my hair is so in need of a wash right now it really just blends right on in so it looks like natural hair it looks like blown out natural hair so this is what it looks like from the side not the back so you can see and then from the back So I'm just going to split it down the middle and part this side off so it doesn't interfere with my other side. And so far I'm still really liking this hair like it's still super soft. Um, it doesn't tangle much and it doesn't shed much. So. If you're looking for like inexpensive, kinky, straight textured hair, I would definitely suggest this one because this is the first kinky straight hair that I've tried um, wefted form and not just clip-ins and I really like it. So I'm just using my um, Paul Mitchell Neuro Smooth Flat Iron and I'm just going to flat iron this hair. I do have my flat iron set to 400 and 20 degrees and I'm just going to flat iron it. 
So I haven't tried the flat under's hair yet, so we're both doing this at the same time. I shouldn't have worn a black shirt. I should have worn a different colored shirt. So it does get straight. I can still see the um, texture in it, like the wrinkles that the hair has in it. It's hot. So this is what it looks like. Sheesh, it's hot. So it is sh getting straight, but you can kind of still see some of the crinkles in it. So I'm going to see if I do the chase method. Will this make it straighter? Okay. So, that's what we're working with so far, so let's just keep going. So this is what this side looks like after being straightened and the hair straightened pretty good. I do find that this chase method with this brush makes it even better. So you can get it straight by itself but when you chase it with like this brush or any hard or bristle brush it you see it works really really good. So I'm just going to go ahead and straighten this side off camera because believe it or not I feel like I've been sitting here straightening my hair for 30 minutes just one side so i'm gonna hurry up and straighten this side off camera and then i'll be back okay so this is what the hair looks like i'm all finished you guys this hair feels so good it's so like it has so much movement and it just mm. this hair straightened super easy you just have to take your time and go a little bit slower because since it does have like those crinkles in it you really just want to take the flat iron down the hair slowly so you can get it as straight as possible but as you can see this closure blends in really good with the hair and it's not even from the same hair company my closure is actually from golden swish hair so um i'll have to check on their website to see if they still have this hair or texture or whatever but that's what company the closure is from and yeah this is what it looks like you can see it just it has so much movement like are you serious so i did want to kind of slick down my edges to kind of give it like that frontal look so i'm gonna go in with this edge control this edge control is the bomb i love it this is the one i've been recently using non-stop this is from sunny isle and this is the jamaican black castor oil edge hair gel this stuff holds really really good so just gonna take some of this on my um, natural bristle brush 
I actually got this from a hair store, so it's, I guess it's made for your edges. Does it look like I have a frontal on now? Completed look. I'm going to zoom in so you guys can see what this closure is looking like. So um, you guys can watch the previous video I did on this hair to see how it looks without a closure. Because I did just have it as a U-part with my natural hair out. And this time I'm wearing a closure. And I like it so much better with a closure. I just feel like it's so much more seamless because... Um, of course my natural hair is shorter than the extension so it kind of have like that layered look but I like this closure so much more because it's all like together. I do have three bundles a 16, 18, and 20 inch and this is how it falls on me as you can see. So yeah. That is it. This concludes this Get Ready With Me hair edition. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you would like to see more like Get Ready With Me hair edition videos, of course, let me know. I will list all of the information on this hair down below as well as the previous video I did on this hair. So make sure you guys check it out. That's it. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.